Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today we're going to talk about the eyedropper in Illustrator and have a look at all the things that it can do. The eyedropper is pretty straightforward. I have a gray splat on the right and I want it to match the one on the left. So I simply select the right one, choose the eyedropper tool, and the keyboard shortcut is I, and then click on the left object to sample it and apply its color to the right object. Alternately, you can do it the other way around. That is, you can select the object that you want to sample from and drop it onto the object that you want to change. So I'll select the orange splat, hold down the Option key, sample the color, and then drop it onto the right object. Notice that the cursor changes directions and is filled with black to give you a visual cue of which way you're going. Either way is fine, just use the one that seems more intuitive to you. Holding down the Shift key while using the eyedropper, lets you sample a color from anywhere on the screen. So for example, I'll hold the shift key down and sample from this gradient, and I'll get just the color that I sampled, not the gradient fill itself. You can also sample any color on your screen by holding down the mouse button, and you see that the cursor changes appearance. Then release the mouse button to pick up the RGB values from underneath. So here I've sampled my desktop picture, the artboard, the menu, anything. If the object that you're sampling has a more complex appearance, for example, a drop shadow and a 90 degree gradient, you might notice that you won't pick up all of those appearance attributes. Double click on the eyedropper tool, though, to bring up its options, and you can see there are many. We just want the entire appearance here, so I'll click Pick Up Appearance and Apply Appearance, and now when I sample it, I'll get the drop shadow and the gradient going in the right direction. And you can see those things in the Appearance panel. One more keyboard shortcut to know is that if you hold down the Shift and Option key while sampling, it will add the appearance to the new object rather than replace it. So here in the Appearance panel, you can see that the orange fill has been added below the gradient fill. The eyedropper is really handy when you're working with gradient mesh, and you need to change the color of individual points. First, choose the Direct Selection tool, then the eyedropper, then hold down the Command key to switch back and select the point, Release the command key to change back to the eyedropper to sample another point. Lastly, the eyedropper can be used to copy text styles. When you move the cursor over the type you want to sample, a little T is attached to it, and as before, just click to sample and apply it to the new paragraph. Once you get the hang of it, you can save a lot of time with the eyedropper tool.